Well, welcome folks. Uh, Coffee with Job on Tuesday morning. We come on to Job chapter 26. Now, what are the subjects that you think our world is concerned with at the moment? I would, I think, put them maybe into four, four categories. COVID, obviously. Climate change or creation, should we put it that way? Uh, cancer. For me, I keep hearing so much of different people with cancer. Uh, China would be, would be another one. And uh, I guess I want to put in church as well. It's funny, on the latest quantum, I mention all these things. I guess I like my alliteration. But if we take COVID and cancer and climate change, I honestly think that I'm actually quite excited about this. Chap Job 26 is, together with Romans 8, the absolute answer, God's answer, to these concerns. So this is Job replying, and in chapter 26, I'm just going to, the next three days we're going to do this chapter. So what we'll do today is verses 1 to 4, and then we'll do verses 5 to 13 tomorrow, and then we'll just take one day to just do the one verse um, on, on Thursday, the last verse, verse 14. But let's read verses 1 to 4. Then Job replied, How you have helped the powerless! How you have saved the arm that is feeble! What advice you have offered to one without wisdom, and what great insight you have displayed! Who has helped you utter these words, and whose spirit spoke from your mouth? Now, at a technical level, there's some dispute about who's speaking here. Uh, there, these are considered to be fragments of speeches. This is Job's tenth speech. I think it's an absolute classic. Uh, I think 27, there's a break, and that's his, his, his last speech. But he's going to go on to talk about God's power in creation, which is just an, and such an incredibly powerful piece. But we'll see that tomorrow. Today, let's do the sarcasm. So back in chapter 12 and verse 2, Surely you are the people, and wisdom will die with you. The sarcasm here, how you have helped the powerless. And he's addressing here a single person. He's addressing Bildad. He admits he has no strength. Job himself has no strength, no power, no wisdom. And basically he's saying, you're just useless, Bildad. It, it's, this is a classic Twitter or or social media comment. Oh, what great wisdom you have. Oh, Boris Johnson, what a wonderful speech. Or Nicola Sturgeon, you are the saviour of Scotland. Or, you know, it's that kind of comment. Now, there's a couple of things about this. Um, sorry, that, a noise of a lorry, I think, below. But there's a couple of things here. One, Christopher Ash Point said something really interesting. Job's inconsistent. If you, can, if you contrast Job's speeches, they don't always fit neatly, logically. Well, guess what? That's reality. That's life. Job's friend's system is very consistent. But he's saying it's useless. It's absolutely useless. It has no power to save. And in that sense, it's like all human religion and philosophy. Oh, you can have a system. It just seems so good. You know, you read the Marxist system. In some ways, it seems so good. You read various people's philosophies and they seem so good, or the various religions, they seem so good. But they just don't work. And a, a lot of so-called Christianity is like that as well. People come out with their solutions for everything, but they're not solutions. I think um, that sarcasm, by the way, in first, uh, you see that being expressed and I think it's good to use sarcasm. I was speaking to someone this week and they said, there, there's nobody critiquing our, our culture in, in, in that kind of way. Well, I think there are some people. But, you know, it's like Elijah with the prophets of Baal. As they danced around the altar at noon, Elijah began to taunt them. First Kings 18. Shout louder, he said. Surely he is a god. <laughs> Sorry. Surely he is a god. Perhaps he's deep in thought or busy or traveling. Maybe he's sleeping and must be awakened. So they shouted louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until their blood flowed. 
There was no response, no one answered, no one paid attention. That's the philosophies and religions of this world. It's only the power of the cross that shows us how undeserved suffering and unmerited grace go together. That's the wonder of the gospel. It's just such a great thing. And we'll see more about that tomorrow. God's answer to COVID and to cancer and to climate change. See you then. Bye.